Hey everyone, welcome to the Fruit and Chicken Show. And yes, those two things can go together. I'm living proof of that right here. And I just want to share with you guys what I'm going to be eating for the week for fruit and lettuce. So let us begin. I'm going to start off with some mangoes. These are my favorite mangoes in the whole world. Oh man, they're so good. They're the manila mangoes and champagne mangoes, which by the way, they are different two, uh, two different mangoes right there. And then I got... So I'll eat about like half a uh, half a case for a meal or so. Um, and then I got these Caribbean red papayas. These things are my favorite papayas in the whole world. And I've tried a lot of different papayas out there. And these I got at Trader Joe's, which, by the way, I got this at Trader um, Garden Fresh. If you live around here in the Chicagoland area, one of the best places uh, to get produce. And then... I got some watermelon. Watermelon just came in the season, and I'm really pumped up about it. These things are so good. Uh, I generally have about like a half or so for a meal. Um, I got these at Trader Joe's for four bucks. And then, what's in this bag? Ooh, what do you guys think? What's in this bag? Well, could be anything. Could be anything. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What is this? It's a mame, mame sapote. These things are so good. And I got this at Mariano's Fresh Market. And these things taste like sweet potato pie. These things are fantastic. You just let them uh, ripen. Uh, yeah, they get ripened by getting soft. And they're bright red inside. And they're super sweet. They're super high-calorie dense fruits. Um, very good for you. And they have like a, like I said, it. Like almost like an amaretto taste to it. It's so good. I love these fruits. And then I got some oranges. Uh, I got a really good deal on these. I think you got them for like $1.50 a pack. And then I got some dates. I got this at the Pita Inn in Skokie, Illinois. It comes in a, in a uh, bucket. Yeah, these are bucket dates. These are saccharide dates and... They have like this outer coating on it. It almost tastes like a donut. They're so good. And then I got some, um, I don't know what kind of tomatoes these are, but they're so good. And I got them for a really good deal. Two bucks for a huge carton, about like two pounds worth. And then I got some organic tomatoes. Got some more mangoes, red mangoes. And let's see, I got some figs up there. And then I got some chia seeds. I got a ton of these and I got them for a really good deal. And then I got some uh, mulberries in there, and I'm probably going to make some chia pudding with that. And then I got some dates. Got to have dates. I'll probably get more dates um, throughout the week. And, and here's some lettuce that I got. I got this uh, lettuce, and I got some baby kale, which, by the way, you could get uh, kale at uh, baby kale, uh, organic baby kale at Aldi's. If you live around the area, they have very cheap uh, organic fruits uh fruits and vegetables sometimes and i'm going to share with you guys what i'm going to be eating for my dinner salad today uh, this is probably one of my favorite salads out there basically it's just like a spring mix it's got tomatoes a little bit of on, uh green onion in there and the sauce is sesame seeds lemon um some a little bit of nutritional yeast which uh, may help prevent colds it's got a little bit of B12 in it, too. Um, I know it's not a totally raw food item, but I'm going to be talking about that in another video. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite salads in the world. I know it's very simple. Um, oh, did I say? So, yeah, the salad dressing, once again, sesame, lemon, water, uh, a little bit of salt, and nutrition yeast. That's it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be having for throughout the whole week. I'll probably get more watermelon. Uh, and a case of bananas. Uh, I'm running low. I usually have like, I don't know, 40 pounds worth of bananas in my freezer. Oh, by the way, I, I do have... Uh, I got these. This is the last of the blood oranges. And these things are really good. Uh, super high antioxidants. Not that you have to eat high antioxidant foods every single day. Especially if you're eating abundance like I do. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I got about like a half a case of these out in the fridge. Uh, I also got some some lemons and things like that. So 
yep, that's what I got going for this week for food. Um, definitely like, share, and subscribe. Because every time you do, it helps me put out another video for you. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys later. Fruit and strength. Yeah. And papayas and mangoes. I love these things. Yes.